Welcome Guardians, this is Windshear bringing you some Destiny PvP multiplayer crucible gameplay of me uh, joining late in a match on Firebase Delphi about the worst case scenario you already have half your team rage quit and here you are in the middle of this catastrophe joining in and uh, down quite a bit of points and uh, you're like alright well we have two options we can either quit and try to find another match or we can give it our best here I'm not communicating with any of my team uh, these are completely randoms and see uh, you know if we can just at least salvage some kind of score so I opted for the uh, the latter half of that. Well, like you know, I always like a challenge. However, I don't want a complete uh, you know uh, utter defeat uh, challenge. But um, we'll give it our best here. How many how many times have you been in these games in Crucible where, well, maybe at the end of the match or something or halfway through you're down a thousand points or two thousand points. You're like, well, there's no way you know, we're going to win this match. Well, how about five thousand points? <laughs> At one point in time this match, we were just, just under, I think, 5,000 point difference uh, down. Well, here's a quick tip. By the way, Plan C is much more accurate if you don't aim down sights. It's it's more accurate. It's got that perk for uh, hip fire accuracy. So, uh, and I'm guilty of this all the time because it's always a habit for me to aim. You don't really want to aim with Plan C. It's it's actually better not to aim it. Uh, just a quick tip. So, yeah, I mean, how many times have you been in a situation where you're down 5,000 points and you're going to come back and win? Um, not too often. Well, uh, I happened to uh, get in this match, and uh, it turned out to be uh, quite a battle. Um, and it was a lot of fun. This is why I still play this game. Um, you know, it, I'm a big, big Battlefield guy. Uh, I played Hardline this week. I really enjoyed the beta. However, I don't want to overplay that um, and get burnt out on beta, so I'm definitely going to pick that up. But, uh, you know, this is why I still play this game, because I think it incorporates a lot of the things I play with other games and enjoy the, the strategy and tactics. Right there, you can see me throwing a grenade behind the objective, flushing that guy out, taking cover behind the ledge, letting him shoot short of me, and then picking up the kill, getting his heavy. Now I've got a heavy LMG with 32 rounds of swarm. Still love this weapon. Uh, you know, get over your 300 damage weapon uh, limitation stigma, guy, because it's, it's not a big difference, uh, guys, with the damage up, put out. Uh, it's, and, of course, in normal Crucible, there is no consideration with your weapon damage. So even an, I would even take this weapon on Iron Banner right now, even only being a 300 damage weapon. The, the crowd control element of this weapon, getting a kill increases your damage output for like 3 seconds, so I think it's 15% increase. So you see that coming to play here. After I take this guy out here, a guy catches me off guard quickly with a shotgun take him out too uh, very quickly. I pick up a lot of five kill streaks in this gameplay. Uh, it's not like I want a monster kill streak, but I routinely was getting five kill streaks, and that's really what you want. You don't need to have the big monster reign of terror uh, metal and all that stuff. Uh, what is what's important is that you constantly put yourself where the the biggest threat is and trying to turn this around and obviously capturing objectives and stemming the flow of the enemy's progression. You see me do that a lot with lightning grenades, and that's what that guy just did there with this hunter which is comparable to lightning grenade with the uh, trip mine grenade, pretty much the same thing. Uh, you want to lock off those corridors and those alleyways and stem the flow, and when you get a chance, like in this situation where I'm coming up on enemy, you always want to try to mitigate your exposure to fire any chance you can with the, the equipment and your abilities. Throwing, our, throwing a lightning grenade behind that enemy like I demonstrated before, while I'm behind cover, it just reduces my chance of, of losing a gunfight, and with this weapon, you need to, you need all the help you can get with that. Right here is a quick triple kill. I almost pull off a quad here as this guy gets me with the super I just used, and you can see there was this healthy. Almost got the aftermath kill. Now I'm not using this weapon just to troll these people. I actually genuinely do like this gun. Uh, I like it right out of the box. It's an iron banner weapon. Uh, with glass half full and two stability perks, I think this weapon needs as much stability as it has. I actually, I actually like this weapon so much I have two of them. I actually bought one. The other one I have is more of a ranged option. I have range finder on it and hammer forged and stability. I haven't leveled that one up yet, so I'm going to give that a go here when I get some time to level it up. Right there you can see that guy employing the slide shotgun combo. You see that a lot. Well, that's where fusion rifles are going to trump shotguns. I think they're perfectly balanced in situations like that. And Plan C here as well. I think there's nothing out of line with this weapon one-shotting people at those ranges. I think that's what fusion rifles are designed to do. Here you can see me turning it on with a shoulder charge with the melee. Plan C, and then I actually kill that guy with Plan C, but somehow he kills me with the super after I landed the shot with him on Plan C. That's one of my biggest criticisms of, of Destiny is the netcode. It's just deplorable. I guess that's just never going to change, but I still have fun with it. 
Um, but yeah, lots to talk this week about patch changes, rebalancing. Bungie's going to be tweaking the auto rifles, nerfing them yet again. What do you guys think? Does uh, the Silomar's Wrath right here, does this need a nerf? I don't think so, but yet they're doing, a, I think, a 2.6% damage reduction auto rifles, reducing the range. So yet again, I mean, I don't know how many times they've nerfed auto rifles. I don't think auto rifles are the problem. Hand cannons to me are the problem. Uh, fusion rifle range is a problem. I think it's too long in some situations. Um, and uh, they're nerfing a shotgun range as well. That's, you know, I mean, how many times have they done that already? Uh, but they are buffing pulse rifles 9% damage, so I am definitely stoked about that. Is it still going to be enough? I don't know. We'll just have to see. As I still argue people just don't like pulse rifles because they they require a good amount of skill. Again, here, look at this. I mean, absolutely just destroyed the team. It pulled off the the Reaper. Uh, I don't even know. How, how do you get the Reaper thing? I don't know if you kill five people, six people. I pretty much wiped out the whole team right there. Um, and was, that's the problem about heavy LMGs is that reload time. I, I should have got out of there and reloaded it uh, because people just love to spam grenades there on B. It's just a death trap for grenades. That's one perk I would like to see. I guess you could argue the Titan's bubble is one way to mitigate great, great uh, grenades. But I'd like to see some option that's not a super to stem grenades or eliminate grenades. I don't know, a grenade to counter just all grenades or a grenade. I don't know, there's an option that just popped in my mind. Uh, but it's all about getting the objects here. You can finally start to see them closing the gap here with the score. And uh, we pretty much keep this momentum going and just carry it through the last two minutes of this footage and pull off an incredible win considering a 5,000 point deficit, deficit here. That mean, I think I cap off with 33 kills in this gameplay. There's two more doubles, or a double there with uh, the lightning grenade. I mean, a 33 kills in 8 minutes is good by any game standards. Uh, this, again, I love the frantic, the frantic but yet controlled pace of this game. Uh, and then the multiplayer aspect of it. I mean, uh, you expo you choose where to expose yourself to fire and when to. Um, you know, the, it's not like Call of Duty a lot of times where you see guys just spawning right behind you. That doesn't happen all that often in this game. There again, you can just see the damage of this weapon is just not enough. It needs to be just a little bit more. I should have killed that guy. There's no reason why. I did, should not have gotten that kill, but um, you know that there's there's control to this game. Knowing your class's strengths, knowing your your equipment strengths, there's a lot of dynamics to the lightning grenades or the grenades that you carry. I mean, uh, yeah, hunters going invisible, and of course the supers. You know, I'm looking forward to. I think there's a lot more potential with this multiplayer. I think with more game modes coming out, like eliminating the threat detector, maybe there will be a no super option game mode. I mean, there's there's a good amount of potential here with this with Destiny. I think in the future, to me, what I what I look forward to more than anything with Destiny in future is the multiplayer. Um, so there's a final kill for me, and capturing the position. You can see we just took that momentum, you know, the last two minutes and just never let it go and just picked up the team off the ground. An incredible win, a lot of fun, just a rewarding game. You know, this is just an average game. As this is just raw and a tid, you know, as if I would have live streamed it to you guys. Um, I mean, this is this is what it's all about. This is why I still play this game. This is why I still like it, despite its criticisms. Um, you know, multiplayer for me is is why Destiny's you know even in my inventory right now with games. Hope you guys like this video. I'll show the scoreboard here. Uh, let me know what you think about the comments. Uh, Titans, you know, not the I don't think the strongest class uh, for multiplayer, but still uh, forced to contend with. It. A lightning grenade alone is what makes it for me with, with Titans. Uh, that to me is the number one thing I cannot let go for a Titan. I think this is the most strong aspect of the class. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the battlefield.